Hey guys, welcome to an Ultra game. All right. Beam Software Nightshade is going to be the game today. All right, so what do we got here? The career is over before it has begun. What? I'm, I'm running away from the bomb. So this is a point and click. Nightshade can't do that. Get out of the chair first. How am I supposed to get out of the chair? Maybe the candle? Go over to the candle, burn the... It looks like a candle, doesn't it? There's a burning candle here. Okay, burning through the ropes. Now wait a minute, it's got, no sorry, it's unremarkable. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little comedy going. They do that a lot in a lot of these point and clicks because they can. I'm sure he collects a key. Alright, what is this over here? A lever. The lever has caution, self-destruct mechanism, do not touch, written on it. So I'm trying to see when you do that. Is that a crowbar? To my dearest, I really love Toki. Can I pick it up? Guess we're not picking thing. I don't. There we go. Pick up. All right. This is a very. This is gonna be a very long game. Let's see, we can examine, pick up, operate, use, item, system, jump, fight, talk. Can you say there's something behind the wall? It looks cool. Oh, and it looks like there's something behind this. All right. Jesus Christ, the little dude can jump. <laughs> oh, wow.
Unfortunately, with games like this, I feel like this was probably a computer game first. And it's very... does not transfer over well. Like, trying to use everything and function is not... Oh, because I'm trying to operate is what I'm looking for. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to watch him get crushed. Splork. Wow. This is definitely not my kind of game ever. You have zero percent of the game. All right. We'll try one more. As long as it took for that bomb to blow up. Bomb didn't even do anything anyways. All right, moving on. All right, so thing, pick up, crowbar. Ah, uh, pick up, crowbar, there we go. All right, can we go this way? There is no going this way, huh? All right. Can we operate? Picture. Quick quivering enigma with a side salad and a light tartar sauce. There's a hidden exit here. <laughs> Alright, gotta love the. <laughs> Found an exit just to fall in the hole. Let me guess, we are, yep, right there. So we literally have to... Oh yeah, there's a key over here when we searched this one last time. Oh no, this one was the... Alright. Oh, it's so, like, trying to do games like this with two buttons is absolutely a nightmare. Yeah, there's nothing fun about games like this. How? It says to jump, but I'm not... How do you jump? I will right, give it a little bit more. We're going to try thing, but it's Oh, 
Okay, we can do that. So jump is... They have a jump command, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? Operate lever. Yay, okay, that did nothing. Screws. Can I pick up the screws? No, okay. Picked up a flashlight. A screwdriver. All right, so now there's a, all right, so. Oh, this is so annoying. Use. Key statue. An ancient Egyptian coin. All right. So we can't go that way. Screwdriver on screws. Okay, we picked up screws. So something fell. Oh, that fell. Examine the lamp. There's no engraved on the piece of the wreckage. It reads. The river spirit has eaten many secrets. All right, can we operate the lever? Operate lever. I mean, all in all, it's if you like kind of point-and-click games, it seems like it's a good one compared to some of the ones we've played and that I've played. This one actually seems a lot more in-depth, a lot better. It's definitely not my cup of tea, and it takes a lot, a lot to get used to this. Like, they're trying to do a lot of different things. And with two buttons, it makes it very difficult. Okay, so we turn that off. Cool, what a great great. My great great grandfather had a great that was greater than this, though. It didn't have a lot of rust, that's all it's got. All right. So we are going to use crowbar on great. Good thing I have my trusty flashlight with me. All right. I collected a bone. Yeah. Okay. That makes no sense. We're going down, but as soon as we get down, we have to go up. I don't understand that. But you know what? Whatever. We're, we're moving on from it. Al's Grocery. All right. Can we go get some groceries? Could be a clue. Nope. Just food. 
All right, anything around here that we need to deal with? No, all right, we're just gonna... Actually, let's do this. All right, I forgot that we can... It didn't work with the one guy, but maybe it'll work here. Talk to... No, not talk to the shelf. Talk to shop assistant. Welcome to Elsgr Okay, so she's just saying the same thing she did earlier. All right. We got eyeballs. Are we going to get attacked? No? All right. <laughs> that dude's just pummeling that old lady. The enemies that you fight are insane. Operate lever. Operate lever. Alright. Well, that's that. Um, it is a point and click. It's a very complex, complicated point and click that has you hitting select more times than you probably want to. The enemy battles are insane. Those, The guys that you fight just are like little fleas. They're jumping all over the place and your guy is not overly agile from what I can tell. Um, it is a very hard game and easy at the same time depending on what part of the game we're playing. Um, all in all, it seems like it's a decent game. It's really not for me. I don't enjoy these kind of games, especially on uh, a system. If we were on PC, I think I would enjoy it a lot more having a mouse and being able to move things a lot faster. But just a simple fact, you have to hit select and then scroll and then use the thing. Go over here to this one, then do that, then do that. Like, it takes so long to do every single action that it just means that the game is going to take way longer than it should. And you're doing the same thing over and over again way too much to be enjoyable. But honestly, like, if, the, if you enjoy these kind of things, I say this game is probably going to be a, a, a... Give it a try. I think it would probably be pretty fun. Looks like it has an interesting story, decent characters. It's pretty silly. Has a lot of fun going on it. So with that being said, guys, you have a great one, and we'll see you next year.